SNMP, or Simple Network Management Protocol, is a protocol that you can install that will allow you to monitor and control network resources. If it's installed remotely, it'll let you monitor and control the remote devices, as well as pull that device for information. In order to properly monitor your network, you must have the SNMP installed on either your Windows NT4 or Windows 2000 environment. If you're an NT, you'd go to your Network Property dialog box by either right-clicking on your network neighborhood and selecting Properties, and then under Services, select the SNMP. Under Windows 2000, we need to go to our Add Remove Programs. We begin by going Start, Settings, Control Panel, Add Remove Programs, and select Add Remove Windows Components. I'm going to scroll down here to Management and Monitoring Tools. I'm going to highlight it and go to Details. I'm going to select the SNMP protocol. Click OK. Click Next. Okay, the installation is complete. I click Finish. Let's go ahead and close our window. Let's go back in and configure our SNMP now. On 2000, you need to go to Start, Programs, Administrative Tools, and then Computer Management. Under Computer Management, we go to Services and Applications, and then Services. We scroll down. SNMP service. Select properties. I just right clicked on it to bring that up. I could also go over to actions if I wanted to. And select properties. Either way, it's going to bring us to the same place. There's some general information associated with the service. Then we get into these tabs here. Agent has an area to put the contact and the location. This is just for informational purposes and it doesn't affect the true configuration. Under service, we have five items we can check. If we check physical, this option is for physical devices such as a hub or a repeater. Applications is checked if the SNMP agent might use any TCP IP application. This would be checked if we used a bridge or a switch. Internet would be checked if it uses a router or a gateway. And then end-to-end -end would be checked if the agent functions as an IP host. Let's go to traps. We can add a trap if we wish. It's not necessary in all situations. We'll specify the trap destination. We'll put an IP address here. I'll go over to security. This is a very important tab. First of all, we have the setup here to send an authentication trap. This make sure that they have to authenticate to the SNMP agent. The community public is the default community. You can add this, add to this, you can remove it. This item here is extremely important. Let's say you have SNMP set up on your network for your purposes where you can monitor it. And you don't want to take a chance of someone getting past your firewall and finding out information about your network that they can't. So what you can do is you can check this box here. And then what this is going to do is you'll have to specify 
the host that's pulling the information from the agent. And if you have this checked, the only people that can pull information from the agent is who you specify here. If you have this set up here, somebody can hack into your system and they can find out all sorts of information about your system, plus they may be able to make some changes in your system. So be very careful. So while we're here at this tab, let's just talk about the security issue with the SNMP. SNMP has two parts. There's the agent, which we're configuring here. This is what will provide the information to a management tool or where the configuration is actually done. There's also a manager. Now, the manager doesn't come with the NT products. You have to buy third-party software in order for to do some kind of management. There is a component that comes with NT that allows you to do some basic data collection. So on the agent, if you have it send an authentication trap, it must authenticate. And then the second thing you do is you make sure you restrict who can have access to this. These two items, the authentication as well as restricting the hosts, can lock down your SNMP agents to the point where it's safe to have running on your network. I click OK. I need to go back here and specify the host. And host. Now, before I do complete this session, let me point something out. If you install the SNMP on an NT4 machine, you need to make sure that you go back and reinstall the latest service pack because a lot of the files that get installed with SNMP will overwrite the newer files associated with the service pack and undo a lot of the work that you set up with your service pack. So it's very important to reinstall that. 